Now, sports. A different kind of race. Welcome back to sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. Week two of the IMCA Winter Nationals kicked off with the fifth annual Pit Crew Challenge. It's something completely different. I mean, you're not just coming to the racetrack and you're racing your race. This gets the pit crews involved. That doesn't normally happen. I mean, the, the, the crews do their jobs up in the pits. This here, they're on the wall. They get to come up over the wall, get to the car. TVs are on them. Uh, it's just, it gets them involved and it gets them psyched up. The challenge features pit crews changing tires, then having a driver complete one lap around the racetrack. The crew with the fastest time is the winner. Uh, it doesn't sound complicated, but when it's under when you're under pressure, it, it adds a lot of you know mental game to doing it quickly. Normally we don't we have all kinds of time to do it, so you never think about it. Uh, it's just got to be smooth and, and no no mistakes, just like a race in a car. The event was created to honor the memory of Gene Freeman. In uh, 2016, my brother Gene uh, passed away with glioblastoma, and I raced with him for about 27 years. You know, there's a lot of memorial races out there, and I didn't want to do that for him. I wanted to do something a little bit different. And, uh, I woke up real early one morning and, and thought of a way in the racing industry to honor my brother, probably one of the most competitive people that I know, and uh, I come up with the idea of this pit crew challenge. So it's, it's just a great deal for everybody to get together and, and, and remember him and have fun. Because my brother was a, a longtime racer and uh, just lived to, for competition, and, and this is a good deal for him. The competition has grown over the years with more and more crews getting involved. Oh, it was a good time. I always enjoy the pit crew challenge. I like helping in the pit, changing tires, and helping other people all the time and a little challenge here to see how fast we can do it and it was a good time. The Winter Nationals rev back up at Cocopa Speedway on Wednesday and will run through Saturday the 13th. Over to Raider Gym now, the Cibola girls basketball team looking for back-to-back -back wins as they come into this one against Sandra Day O'Connor. Starting things off in the first quarter, Cibola down 12, Mariana Vega takes the inbound pass Cleans up her own shot and finally gets that one and the foul. Free throw good, and it's only a nine-point game. Next possession for Cibola. Vega with a miss, but eventually it's Taylor Stubbs there from beyond the arc. Yes, ma'am, she nails that one, and it's a six-point game now. Just a bit later, Sierra Baumhauer catching the Eagle D, sleeping. Baumhauer cashing in once again, and it's a six-point deficit again. The Raiders defense coming up big here once again. Isabella Molina with the steal. She drives to the basket and gets the layup to go to make it a two-point game. Just a few seconds left in the first. Looks like the Eagles will get the last shot, but there is Vega rushing it and getting it up the court to beat the buzzer to give Cibola the lead. The crowd was hyped after that one. Unfortunately, though, the Raiders couldn't keep it close the rest of the way. Sandra Day O'Connor comes on or goes on to win this one 64 to 55. To some more high school hoops action, Yuma Catholic against uh, was in action against Kingman. Starting things off with the girls, a big win against the Bulldogs as the Lady Shamrocks won 65 to 22. Amanda Wiley with an amazing game. She had a double double with 22 points and 15 rebounds. Zamena Poo also came in big with 13 points. On the boys' side, it was also a blowout win. The Shamrocks take it 72 to 24. YC now three games over 500. And to some boys hoop scores out of the Imperial Valley. Vincent Memorial take, taking on Central as the Scots take this one 64 to 55. Vincent continuing a great start to the year. The Calipatria Hornets went down to El Centro to, pay, to face Southwest. Calipat continuing to impress as they win in blowout fashion 62 to 31. Kofa boys basketball took down Independence 68 to 43. 20 points and 16 rebounds for Elijah Braveheart. Luis Negretti had 14 points and Emmanuel Ramirez had 12. It was also a dominant night for Kofa girls soccer as they beat Yuma 9-1. And that is all we have time for in sports.